This video will cover the topic, evaluating logarithmic expressions. Our first example will be log base 5, 25. How do we approach this problem? To approach this problem, we should start by looking at what we know. In previous topics, we have learned the logarithmic to exponential equation rule, which tells us, for any numbers a, b, and c, with a and c positive, a is not equal to 1, we have the following equivalence, log base a, c, is equal to b, if and only if, a to the power of b is equal to c. We can use this equivalence to rewrite our logarithmic expressions into exponential equations that will be easier to evaluate. Let's do this with our first example. Log base 5, 25, is equal to x, if and only if, 5 to the x power is equal to 25. Now we can solve for x using our rewritten equation. 5 to the x power is equal to 25. From looking at this equation, we know that the exponent must convert 5 to the x power into 25. From that we know that x must equal 2. This gives us 5 to the x power is equal to 5 to the second power, leaving us with x is equal to 2. This also means that our logarithmic expression equals 2. Our final answer will be log base 5, 25 is equal to 2. Okay, I think I have it, but could we go through another example? Our next example will be log base 2, 32 is equal to x. We can use our logarithmic to exponential equation rule to rewrite this equation as log base 2, 32 is equal to x if and only if 2 to the x power is equal to 32. Now we can solve for x by using our new expression. 2 to the x power is equal to 32. By looking at this expression, we can see that 32 is the same as 2 to the 5th power. So we rewrite our problem as 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Now, by looking at a problem, we can see that x must equal 5. This gives us the final answer of log base 2, 32 is equal to 5. Okay, I think I got it. So first we convert our logarithmic expression into an exponential equation in order to help to solve for x. After that, you solve for x by using what we know about exponential functions. And this will give you the solution to our logarithmic expression. That's great, you got it. Now all you need is a bit more practice. 